very good way to end oh. this trilogy. We've made three films. Um, I think it, it completes the story in a sad, interesting way. Jamie Lee Curtis is an American actress, producer, author, and activist. She first came to prominence with her portrayal of Lieutenant Barbara Duran in the ABC sitcom Operation Petticoat. Jamie gained prominence during the late 1970s with a performance in the horror film Halloween. She then became famous for appearing in a wide range of horror films over the next few years. She's won a Satellite Award, multiple Saturn Awards, a Jupiter Award, a British Academy Film Award, a Mistfest Award, an American Comedy Award, and two Golden Globe Awards, and a Fangoria Chainsaw Award. In 1998, Jamie Lee Curtis was given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Right. November 2nd. Okay. Like, that happened October 31st, 1978. She went right back to school. She went to back school. to school November, November 2nd, 2nd, and no one ever talked about it. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Jamie Lee Curtis, but is also known as The Body, The Scream Queen, The Queen of Screams. She was born November 22nd, 1958 in Santa Monica, California, making her 63 at the time of this production. She stands at 1.7 meters or 5 feet 6 inches tall. Curtis has shared her love for anime in the past, especially One Piece. She told a crowd at San Diego Comic-Con in 2016 that if she could be any television character, she would be Nico Robin. She's a fan of high fashion designers and wears exclusive brands like Oscar de la Renta, Dior, Carolina Herrera, and Altazara. Jamie Lee Curtis loves photography, and she's an avid collector. Among her favorite photographers are classics like Cindy Sherman, Irving Penn, and Sally Mann, and new talents like Shauna Ankenbrand. She's a fan of World of Warcraft and One Piece, and has attended Comic-Con, Evo, and BlizzCon Incognito. Curtis plays a leadership role for Children's Hospital Los Angeles and supported the 2011 opening of a new inpatient facility for the organization. Curtis received the Lifetime Achievement Award during the 78th Venice International Film Festival, to which she reacted by saying that she felt so alive, like I'm this 14-year-old person just beginning their life. That's how I wake up every day with that sort of joy and purpose, and added that she's just beginning her work. After her father Tony's death, she learned that her entire family, including siblings, had been cut out of his will. She's close friends with actress Sigourney Weaver. Curtis married Christopher Guest on December 18, 1984. She saw a picture of him from the movie This is Spinal Tap in Rolling Stone and told her friend Deborah Hill, oh, I'm going to marry that guy. She married him five months later. They have two adopted daughters, Annie, born in 1986, and Ruby, born in 1996. Curtis is actor Jake Gyllenhaal's godmother. Prior to her marriage to Guest, Curtis dated rock singer Adam Ant. Her father-in-law was a British hereditary peer. When he died on April 8, 1996, her husband succeeded him and became the fifth Baron Hayden Guest. Last one, and Laurie Strode has had mental health support, grief counseling, trauma therapy, and because of that, there's a moment of hope at the beginning of the Her father was the late actor Tony Curtis, and her mother was the late actress Janet Lee. Raised alongside an older sister, Jamie's parents divorced when she was four. After graduating from high school, Jamie Lee Curtis studied at the University of the Pacific. Although she studied law initially, she later dropped out to pursue a career as an actress. Curtis's first film role was in the 1978 horror film Halloween. This role became quite iconic, and Halloween became the highest-grossing independent film when it was released. This was the beginning of her career as a so-called Scream Queen, which is the name for actresses who are famous for roles in horror films. She followed up with leading roles in films such as The Fog, Prom Night, Terror Train, and many sequels and spin-offs to Halloween. Many of these films performed well at the box office. In 1983, Curtis successfully escaped the Scream Queen typecast with a performance in the comedy Trading Places. After proving her comedic talents, she followed up with a role in another 80s comedy called A Fish Called Wanda, which later became a cult classic. Curtis continued to branch out into different genres during the 90s, taking a role in the action thriller Blue Steel. 
During the 90s, she also appeared in a number of other notable films such as My Girl, My Girl 2, and Freaky Friday, the latter of which co-starred Lindsay Lohan. In 2004, Curtis appeared in the film Christmas with the Cranks, which also became a cult classic. This proved to be a turning point for Jamie Lee as she announced in 2006 that she was taking an indefinite break from acting in order to focus on her family. However, this break only lasted for one year. In 2007, Curtis appeared in the live-action animated film Beverly Hills Chihuahua. A notable moment in Curtis's career came in 2018 when she reprised her role as Laurie Strode in the reboot of Halloween. The film's debut at the box office was also the highest earning for any film with a lead actress over 55 years of age. In addition, 2018's Halloween proved to be the most commercial successful film of the entire franchise. In October 2022, she appeared in Halloween Ends. For incredible good yes. like that and in portals for incredible hatred yes. and, and bile and, and vile people. She's earned money through acting, writing, and brand endorsement deals. Jamie earned $8,000 for appearing in Halloween in 1978. Then in 1981, her salary from Halloween 2 was $100,000. Two years later, the actress earned $25,000 from Love Letters, and her salary from Halloween Resurrection in 2002 was $3 million. Curtis is also a blogger for the Huffington Post online newspaper. Jamie's written several children's books, including the New York Times bestsellers, Today I Feel Silly, and When I Was Little, a four-year-old's memoir of her youth. Curtis launched the podcast series Letters from Camp on Audible in 2020 and Good Friend with Jamie Lee Curtis for iHeartRadio in 2021. She has a net worth of $60 million. That's a combined net worth with her husband, Christopher Guest. In 2016, it was reported that Jamie Lee Curtis and Christopher Guest purchased a home in Santa Monica for $2.2 million. The property is adjacent to their current home, and the assumption is that they'll expand into this new lot to create a bigger home. The land itself already features a home with 1,900 square feet of living space and a swimming pool. The Santa Monica property that they already own has been in their possession for more than two decades. In 1992, the couple bought a house in Santa Monica. It's a Spanish colonial revival that dates back to 1929, and it features seven bedrooms. Thanks to the Mediterranean-inspired wooden pieces, the house has the spirit of lightness and spaciousness. After buying the property in the 90s, Jamie had to go a long way until she finally felt she could call it home. They hired the famous architect Michael B. Lehrer to be in charge of the project. They changed a lot of things in the house, and the two-bedroom place received two additional bedrooms for the children. Curtis also wanted the kitchen to become a family area because she believes it's the heart of the house. She likely owns the following cars, a Honda FCX Clarity, a Porsche, a BMW. a Ferrari. A Range Rover. Rolls-Royce.